Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Barry, That Goat Metal Show, on today, Saturday, March 18th, 2023. Hope everybody's doing good on this spring-like New York day. Okay, before I continue, gotta give a shout out to my daughter, Layla. I love you. Her birthday was March 13th. My beautiful daughter has turned 22 years old. All right, 22 years old. So that just tells you about, man, I'm old as shit. <laughs> All right, also, guys, I want to uh, give a thanks and a shout out to the man, the myth, the legend, the silent producer. Uh, he's been banging out some bad ass videos for this channel. Uh, and anybody who hasn't got a chance to see any of these, just go back, check out the videos, top notch videos he's putting together. He just put out a recent video about uh, crossover bands, and um, give that give that a look. You guys are really gonna enjoy it. Uh, he did a great fucking um, episode about New York City hardcore, which uh, blew up, and we'll be getting some new subscribers. Left, and I want to thank you, subscribers, for for coming onto the channel and checking us out. All right, but you know. He's only going to keep doing what he can, man. And he's only going to keep getting better. I, I thank goodness for the side of producer, man. Thank you so much, Rich. I appreciate you. All right? But I wanted to do something in this segment. Considering um, things seem to be going full circle, right? Um, I noticed there's starting to become an interest again in the genre of deathcore. De deathcore. Deathcore. <laughs> okay? And considering deathcore is pretty much more my my top, my speed, considering my band when we started back in the early '90s, we go to Mensis. Um, back when we started, there was no deathcore, there was no metalcore, there was no rapcore, there was none of that shit. Okay, uh, we took it as a way of saying, you know what, we love these two genres of music. I was I, I love death metal. And I was I was into hardcore, so I, me and, and Frank Lasco, Martin, now who was the singer of Billy Club Sandwich, and my man Rendon, uh, we got together, we did a few songs, and basically the formula was simple: uh, give it that hardcore edge, but give it the brutalness of death metal at the same time. And you know, as far as uh, the vocals go, I mean. When I took over the vocals and singing, mine was more of a death metal style. Martin is Martin. So, you Martin, the way you hear Martin in Billy Club is the way Martin was in Go to Mensis. So, he kept that edge in there. Uh, we had Rob. We had Malik. And those guys had their own styles as well. So, the best thing about that was that you could put your style of vocals with the music and it still went. Regardless if it was death metal Hardcore, grunting, stop, whatever way you want to do it, it still went. And uh, I want to give uh, a shout out and props to uh, two, two bands, basically, who was, um, were to me, the pioneers of deathcore, you know, when we were coming up. And they didn't label themselves deathcore. Um, one of the bands is actually taking the title now because they understand the influence, and, I, and, and it is. It just, you can hear it, you can feel it. You, you know that there, you can feel those blends of death, death metal and hardcore into the music. And Confusion. Confusion, I'm going to talk about Confusion. Um, that was a band that came out in the early 90s. And right now they're re-releasing material from their um, from their demos and their EPs. It's called uh, Storm of the Walls. And I think, it's, I think it should be out already. And I believe they're supposed to be doing some live show, show soon. I believe so. I'm going to keep checking. But um, that was a band that you saw live, and both genres could sit there and enjoy their set. Okay, that was the, and, and this was confusion opened up for many of acts in the hardcore and death metal genre. They opened up for DSI. They've opened up uh, for I, I think they've opened up for Madball. They've opened up for. Um, but I see, I think I see them open up for Incantation, um, and um, this uh, this so um, this associate too. Uh, yeah, probably this associate. I know they play with a slew of bands. If you go onto their Facebook page, they have a lot of their old flyers, and you see a lot of the shows that they played. They played Deathstock. They played oh man, they, they played hardcore festivals. And to me, that's what it was all about when I started going to Mensis. It was just. Merging those genres of, of, of music that I love 
and seeing everybody enjoy it together. You know, it was, you know, it, it was in that vein of those great crossover bands that Richie just did, of like DRI mixing hardcore and and, and thrash, suicidal tendencies. Um, you know, that was a, a nice mix where you could get, you know, I, you know, those genres together, and you know, you could have those set of people who enjoy those genres together to enjoy the music and. It was just it was just a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, and uh, you know I want to thank those guys. And uh, another band I want to go always give a shout out to is still playing to this day and still kicking ass. All Our War. All right, All Our War got a new album called Celestial Rock, and they're just they keep pushing it, man. They keep pushing it. I think they're um, we're, we're going on our thirtieth year. If, if what I'm to do has been going on, no, we've been going on thirty. I think they're about that same vein, about thirty years in. If I'm not mistaken, or maybe a little more, but uh, Mike and all our war, you know, it was always, it was an honor, you know, sharing the stage with those guys because it was just fun to play with a band that you admired and felt that you could feed off that same energy of style of music together. And um, want to give those guys a lot of credit for still kicking ass. All right, I still got to give you guys a lot of credit. Love you guys. Um, just awesome to hear you guys still playing brutal music and bringing it out to the masses. But take that note, guys. You guys were one of the, 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 the seeds of Deathcore. Um, and to me, I always felt that Deathcore was what it was supposed to be, which was, I mean, uh, when we started it, it was death metal, New York City hardcore, okay? Or hardcore in general where, you know, I'm not going to just say New York, but we were from New York City, so it was just easier to take those bands and, uh, and have that influence. For me, um, the two bands that were significant in Go to Mensis was uh, Sick of It All and Grave. Why those two bands? Um, because when me and Frank Lasko used to get together, we used to jam, and we just started the band, those were the two two bands we listened to. We always played uh, Sick of It All's Clobbering Time to get us warmed up, and we listened to, um, to Grave, You Will Never See. Those two songs were like our bread and butter to get us amped and amplified to write the music that we wanted and to give it the sound and a style that we enjoyed. Uh, but that's that's uh you know that was that was my thing, man. I mean, Deathcore is, looks like it's making a nice comeback. You know, you got um, Slaughter to Prevail, uh, which right now I think are I, I, could we just crown them the kings of you know present Deathcore because those guys are like fucking huge right now. You know, they're just kicking ass on YouTube. Um, they're getting a lot of uh, reaction videos. And, you know, Alex Terrible is just, uh, the vocals are just insane. All right. And, you know, it's good. I mean, you can hear, they, that is a good style that they have. I mean, you can see a lot of the influence they have from different genres, but they just put it to their own thing. And it's fucking, it's brutal. Brutal as fuck. All right. But uh, that's it right now. That's all I got right now, guys. I'm just, I'm rambling on. I just, you know, I'm just, when it comes to deathcore, I'm just a, a total advocate for deathcore, big fan of deathcore, considering that, you know, I, we are, you know, most of those bands that I mentioned, are, we are like the founders, I would say, you know, and a lot of people have done interviews and stuff like, will we'll put us in that general category, and um, just to understand what deathcore really is, okay, and that's how I feel about it, all right, all right, guys, that's pretty much all I have right now, I want to thank my new subscribers who came on. I want to thank you guys for um, for supporting us. Again, Rich, the silent producer, for always coming out with some good shit to put onto the channel. And also, don't forget, guys, uh, I got um, the Facebook page, the Sith Lords merch. Uh, get on it. Uh, I'm, I'm Right now, we're already past the 300 subscriber mark. We're going, we're going to try to push the 400. So the 400 subscriber will get a free channel shirt, okay? A free channel shirt. And also, if, you know, I, you see, I got my, my This is Florida is a Metalhead shirt on. That's another channel I do have, which is basically, you know, geek culture and stuff like that. Uh, also, if you want to get onto that channel, my 200 subscriber will get a free channel shirt on there too as well. All right, guys? So that's pretty much it, man. I want to thank you again for everybody for checking in, supporting us, and just let's just keep getting this going, all right? So, yeah, 400, we're getting to 400 subscribers, man. Just keep subscribing, all right? Like and share. Also, comment. Let me know. And let us know if there's things you want us to go and check out or talk about. We'd be glad to. And bands. Bands itself, too, also. I've done reviews. 
Um, I, have a, I have a label from Europe that sent me some promos. I was able to put out some reviews and uh, got some good feedback on that. The bands were very appreciative uh, about the reviews. I don't get anything for that. I just enjoy to spread the word. All right. So if you're a new up and coming band and you got some stuff you want me to review, check out. I'll put it out there. All right. That's it. All right. All right, guys. This is Barry. Enjoy the day. And that's it. This is Barry, that goat metal show. Stay brutal. <laughs>